so I sold another vintage launcher today. This is the first wooden one that I picked up. I usually pick up the one, the woven ones or the gel beach ones, like with the tubes. Um, picked this up for five dollars at a church rummage sale this last weekend. Listed it today on Facebook Marketplace, and half an hour later, it sold for sixty dollars. Facebook does a tiered shipping scale, which goes only by weight, versus eBay would go by weight and buyer's location. So no matter where this sold to, I knew right when I listed it that it would only cost me $13 to ship no matter where it sold in the country. I'm going to show you not to be afraid to pick them up, not to be afraid to ship them. So all right, this is how I ship them. There's probably a bunch of different ways, but this is just the way that I like to do it. The way I do it, it takes two of these medium-sized boxes. This one happens to be 18 by 18 by 16. What I'm going to do first is ideally you would measure it. So measure one of the panels, find the exact middle, draw a line down it, and then what you're gonna do is just score in the middle all the way down. What score is, is it means it doesn't go all the way through, but it just kind of creates like a new fold. And then on the flaps, you, you are gonna cut those all the way through. So the flaps will cut all the way through, you'll score the middle, and then this other flap will cut all the way through. Okay, so you, we just did this panel. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the opposite panel. So, when this box is open, it doesn't matter which sides are cut, I just need the sides to be parallel to each other. Hope that makes sense. So I just cut this side. I just cut this side, now I'm gonna do this side. And then these two other sides in the front and the back towards me, you're not gonna touch. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm gonna find the center of it. Score it down the center. Cut the panels, or cut the flaps. Score the middle. Cut that, okay. So these are cut. This is just scored, and this is cut. Now, you can open the box and it's just like that. Let's see, hopefully I can show you this. Since we scored it and made that new fold line, we can go like that and create a different size box. So all I'm gonna do is fold those in, fold that down, fold that up. And now I'm gonna have to tape it so it stays. Okay, so the bottom's taped top is still open and now we have that rectangle shaped box. As you can see the chair stands out so what I'm gonna have to do is make another one exactly like this one and then we're gonna put that one on top of this, tape it together to make one solid box and then we'll be good to go. These are super durable and I'm not worried about anything happening to it in transit but protect it as much or as little as you feel like is necessary. Like I said, this is really just to prevent it from moving around too much in transit. Now this part, I'm just going to basically put this other box over the top as if it was a lid. Now all I have to do, I'm going to take these flaps, tape them all up. I'm gonna go around the whole box so that it doesn't come apart. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so this is what it will look like when you're done. If I would have measured it, it'd be a little, look a little straighter, but it's just fine. It's really light, it's like six pounds. So sold for 60, uh, shipping's 13, paid five for it. The fees will be $3, so if I did my math right, that is a $39 profit. Like I said, don't be afraid to pick these up. Don't be afraid to ship them. Um, they sell so well. I've sold over 20 just this summer. You make a lot of money on them because this is something that people just don't see value in, so you can get them for 5 bucks or less usually. I'm going to get to the post office, and I'll talk to you guys later.